So we're going to go ahead and start out with primer today. Today we're going to be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer right here. I've used this a few times, but um, honestly, I don't, I mean, I don't know if I know a difference, but I don't dislike it. So, but I'm trying to use it more. So we're going to put it all over the face. All right, so now we're going to go in with the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is in the color Rose Beige. Um, I talk about this foundation a lot. I love it, so I don't need to talk about it too much, but it's bomb. So just putting it all over the face and blending out. So I'm going to be trying out a new product for me today. It's, I don't think it's a new product, but this is, okay, I don't know why, but it's called a Waterproof Tattoo Covering Concealer Camouflage Matte M-A-T-T Concealer. Um, this is by Essence Cosmetics. Essence right here. I'm pretty sure it was like $2.99, so I was like, you know you girl, gotta try it. So we're going to open it up. I have the color, um... <clears throat> I have the color light rose. So, anyways, um, actually, I like the applicator so far. It looks pretty cool. So, we're just gonna put it everywhere we do and see how it looks. So far, it feels pretty thin, not too thick. Just gonna put it everywhere I normally do. All right, now we're just gonna blend it out. Okay, honestly, for like $2.99, $3, maybe even $4, I don't know the exact price, but for whatever I paid, I know it was really, really cheap. Um, that blended out very good, and I will be using it more, of course, after seeing how it wears throughout the day. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some Airspun uh, Loose Transparent, what's the brand? Um, is this, oh, Cody Airspun? The brand Airspun, Cody Airspun. I think it's called it's just Cody Airspun. Um, so this is a translucent powder right here. And actually, I think it has, no, I have naturally neutral. So I'm pretty sure I grabbed the lightest shade at least a couple times on my channel. We're just gonna go in. I'm not gonna like dig too much, but I'm gonna go in with this brush pretty heavily into the powder. I love the smell of this, but if you don't like heavy smells, especially like powders and stuff, this is not for you because it has a very strong smell. But I personally do. I like to smell like every single thing, beautiful, scented. I love all of that. So just putting this everywhere. So we're just putting this everywhere and then I'm going to dust it off. Not really too much baking, but I am caking it on. Right, so now I'm going to go in with what's left over on my sponge and just push it in so it's not a very thick, powdery look. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Brow Gal Convertible Brow right here. I have the color 02. These are powders right here. Um, but if you wet your brush, which is very, very nice to do, if you wet your brush, it kind of makes it a little bit more liquidy to put on. It's super nice. Love it. So then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics 203 brush. And then I'm going to be putting on some e.l.f. Cosmetics Wow Brow Gel in Neutral Brown and cleaning it up with my Sigma... E65, it's wiped off. E65 brush. That's going to be off camera because it's it's hard. Alright, so now I'm going to go into this Elf Cosmetics brush right here. And this is the 103 brush. Now, and then I'm going to go into the I Love Revolution right here. I don't know why they're called I Love Revolution and Makeup Revolution because I'm pretty sure they're the same brand, but I don't know. Um, but this is the Peach and Glow palette right here. So, and the inside is just like blushy shades. So I use this as blush. So I'm going into both of those. They are pretty pigmented, I think. Yeah, they're pretty pigmented. So I just go into them pretty lightly and just pat it around. Now I'm going to go into bronzer. This is the Laura Geller uh, Beach Matte Baked Hydrating Bronzer in Siesta Medium right here. And I'm taking this brush right here. This is the Morphe R2 brush. Just going in and bronzing up all my usual places on my face. So now I'm going to go in with the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. I don't know if it's... I'm pretty sure it's called Rodeo Drive, not Rodeo Drive. So 
Um, anyways, we're gonna go into it. It's kind of golden. Normally, I don't wear it too often, even though it's such a beautiful. But when I have darker foundations on, like I do today, even though you guys probably can't tell too much, but if you compare my hands, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna go into this brush right here. This is the Doll Tin by Makeup Molly Prepping Perfector brush right here. So pretty. Going into that highlighter, and these have like a perfume smell, and I love it. So look how beautiful that is. This is going to be like my new favorite highlighting brush, I think, because it's so soft and nice. And it literally picks up products better than any brush I've used, and it just is so nice. It's so pretty. I'm just going to put it like most places on my face. And now I'm going to go in with the Elf Cosmetics Makeup Mist and Set Spray and just spray my face. So now I'm going to go in with this brand right here. This is called Stab Cosmetics Secret to Eternal Beauty. That's what it means. S-T-E-B. Secret to Eternal Beauty. This is a Wish Upon a Star uh, eyeshadow palette right here. And here it is right here. Here's the outside packaging. Super cute. Got a little unicorn on it. And then it's got the um, colors in it in the back, which is really nice. So um, this is a cruelty-free brand. Obviously, everything I use is cruelty-free. Um, but this is actually like... They're a pretty smaller brand, but like their products are pretty bomb like that I've looked at. So I don't know why they're so small, but here's the eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to go into this brush right here. This is the Doll Tin by uh, Makeup Molly brush, Crease Creator brush. So I'm going to go into the color right here, which is Boathouse. And it's kind of like a brownie like tone shade, but it's got like different vibes to it. So I'm just going to pick this up. Not doing anything too drastically heavy, but I am picking it up. These brushes, guys, I definitely recommend going and getting these brushes. I literally don't think I felt any brushes softer than these Dalton by Makeup Molly brushes. I don't know if all of the Dalton brushes are like this. I'm going to have to check them out, but they're literally the softest brushes I have ever used. And I'm blending this up pretty high and just rounding it out. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This is the Morphe E36 brush, and I'm going to go into this color, which is right next to it, more of a deeper brown, and it's called Fishnet Stockings. And then I'm just going to basically just start placing this on the outer and inner corner, and then blending it into my crease. Actually, I'm leaving this like middle part clean, but I'm leaving the crease part above it clean as well. Just blending it into the creases of the outer and inner corner area. All right, now I'm taking this Morphe B79 brush right here, and I'm gonna go into the, it's called Hot As Hello, and it's kind of like an orangey, peachy, orangey shade right there. Um, not too bright, but it's got enough that I'm going to use to diffuse the top and outer part right here. And I'm going to go back into that brush in the first color we were using. And I'm just going to go in and just blend it some more because it kind of disappeared a little bit. So I'm just kind of blending it some more. I'm going to go back into that pointed brush we were using and the dark color we were using and I'm going to start blending it under my eyes. Alright, so I'm now going to go in with this brush right here. The other side is dirty but I wiped it off. Um, this is the Doll Tin by Makeup Molly again. Uh, Detail Dazzler Brush. And I'm going to go in with the concealer we were using. I'm not going to do too heavy of like cutting it but I am going to take the concealer and use it to kind of just lay down like a base of that middle part and cut out some parts of the eye in the crease area. Alright, so now I'm going to go into that brush again and we're going to be taking, I really want to use so we're going to go into the color Sexy Divide, which is this purple color right here. We're going to be using that because that's so pretty. And then I'm going to pick it up and spray my brush. And now I'm just laying this all over where we just put that concealer at. 
The shade is so stunning. All right, I'm gonna take it on my finger and just lay it down a little bit just to get a little bit more of a shimmer, but it is so beautiful by itself. That is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Taking that same darker color and same brush, and we're just gonna go and blend it out. All right, so I want it to be a little bit deeper and that color isn't dark enough for me. So I'm gonna go into one of their other palettes. So this is the 16 Eye, or 16 Cat Eyes by Step Cosmetics palette right here. And then I'm gonna go into the black, obviously, and just kind of do the same thing, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more deeper. So I'm not going into it too much, but just a little bit. Kind of deepening it up. So I'm now going to go into this NYX Cosmetics Liquid Crystal Liner in the color Crystal Silk, which is a basically like a golden color. I don't even know how these even work for me anymore, honestly, because I like have, they run out. Like I've used them so much. Um, actually, yeah, this isn't even going to work. It's not. I know it's not. Okay, so I've always wanted to use these, but I don't know because they're so thick. I don't know if they're going to dry, and I got somewhere to go after this, so hopefully they work. Um, if they don't, you know, whatever, I'll just take my makeup off. But uh, these are the Revolution Makeup Revolution um, Power Hungry Glitter Paste right here. So please dry. I hope they dry. So these always look so cool. And I have a couple colors of them, but this one's golden, obviously. So this right here, I, I think the name is Power Hungry. So I don't know. But we're going to go in with a very thin lining brush. This has, oh, yeah, this is um, an e.l.f. Ingold Eyeliner Brush. I'm going to pick it up, if it will pick up, they might not pick up, um, I don't know, I don't know if this is going to work, but I just like basically had a chunk into it, and I'm going to place this above the, like, above the halo eye part, I don't even think these are like going to stay, but we're going to keep trying. Definitely would have been better with a line. Yeah. These are really hard to use. I think they're more like putting your finger on and laying on the lid. They'll look great. Okay, so this is a struggle getting that to stay. But since I already have it on, I want to use it. So I'm going in with this NYX Glitter Glue on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take it and um, place the glue where I want it to go. So maybe like it'll help stick it down. Just right above the halo eye part. Okay, so for some reason my camera wasn't recording, but um, I did that eye and then I went in with this eyeliner, which is really, really bomb. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Retractable No Budge Liner in Black, and I just put this in my waterline. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this flat brush right here. This is from the same brush collection we've been using. This is the Line Definer Brush. It's flat, and we're going to go into the black again um, that we were using in that palette. I'm not going to be doing eyeliner, but I am going to go ahead and just smudge this to the waterline and give like a smoky eyeliner effect. Um, this just does like a little bit of something something, but if I don't do this, I can definitely tell um, because eyeliner is beautiful, but it's very pain in the ass for me, so I'm not doing that today. So now I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Revolution Strobe Highlighter in the color Holographic Lights right here. Just going to go in with a pencil brush. This is the Crown C513 brush. And we're going to put it on the inner corner and brow bone area. I'm now going to go in with this Milk Cosmetics Makeup Kush Mascara right here and put this on my top and bottom lashes. Alright, so now going into the last step, 
This is the Girl Lactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in the color Posh, right here. I'm just putting this on my lips. Alright, so that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.